First, Mainers have depended on the forest for centuries. It has provided wood for heat, for lumber, for paper. Now, a new company has found a new use for Maine wood, and 207's Don Kerrigan went to Madison to see it being made. This is how the customer would use it. You can the tell. The builder or whomever. Exactly, it's self-supporting, friction fit. Millions of walls across the country are filled with insulation. But until now, little if any of it has come from wood. Timber HP is working to change that and in the process has brought a once empty main mill back to life. These are softwood residual chips. We purchase chips from several suppliers. We run species spruce fir and pine. Every mill operations manager Jessica Vigno showed us where it starts. Thousands of tons of chips from what they call residual wood, branches and trimmings from the lumber industry that had been going to waste or burned to make electricity, now are being transformed into building insulation. They're first put under steam and pressure to break the chips into fibers. Then some of it is bagged up to be used for blown in insulation. We then compress the fibers and we're shooting for a 25 pound bag. And some gets pressed into thick bats to fit into the walls. Any pieces that break get recycled and processed again. This kind of wood insulation is new to the United States. In fact, Timber HP is the first company in America to make it. This machine was previously used in Germany to make a similar product. But let's back up a minute. How did this all come to be and in Madison? It's all because of these guys, Matt O'Malia and Josh Henry. O'Malia is an architect with a passion for highly energy efficient houses. Those require a lot of insulation. And then starting to look more at the materials we're using, they're foam fiberglass mineral wool, non-renewable, non-recyclable, or made directly from oil, which is essentially what we were trying to save in, in terms of main heating. Um, and it was just clear that to make the type of buildings that we wanted to believe in that we thought were appropriate um, to address environmental concerns that we had, we really had to look more closely at the materials. He met Josh Henry, a chemistry professor, and got him thinking about it too. And when we saw this product in Europe, it just immediately, to me, it made sense. Um, we, we structure and sheathe our buildings in wood. It makes all the sense in the world that we would insulate them with wood as well. And it had everything we were looking for. It was renewable, recyclable. It was made from a waste stream of the lumber industry. But it was too costly to import from Europe. So O'Malia and Henry began their own R&D and got support from state economic development leaders. They looked for manufacturers, but no takers. It's in, in an important solution for buildings. Someone's got to do it, so why, why not us? <laughs> so the architect and the chemist became manufacturers. They bought the old Madison paper mill for a good price, filled it with equipment, and hired a workforce, including a surprising number of people like Tim Worcester, who had worked here in the paper days. So what's it feel like to be back here? Great. Great for the town. Great for the community. Great for you? Great for me, yes. I live in Madison, so. And others like Jessica, who had spent 10 years as an engineer at another paper mill. I think the best part about this is it's so innovative, it's so creative. There's so much energy of all the employees working here to make this brand new product in our country. I think it's very motivating. Timber HP's products are still new to the market, but the founders say sales are building. We've gotten a lot of support from the LBM industry, lumber and building materials, the Hancock Lumbers, Vikings, Ware Butler, Hammond Lumber, um, and throughout the Northeast um, that understand the product, have seen it in Europe, and have been waiting to ha get the product in their hands. They say the R values are equal to or better than other types of insulation. And the price? You can have a great sustainability concept, but if it comes at a high cost premium, 
only very few will bother to invest in that. So if you really want to move the needle, if you really want to have an impact uh, in terms of sustainability, and in my case with buildings, um, you really need to figure out how to be cost competitive. O'Malia and Henry say they have done that. Timber HP has about 70 employees right now, but has plans to double the production and the workforce. They say the construction world is taking notice of what's being made in Madison. A new product from our main forest, once again bringing work to the old mill and another kind of warmth to American homes. Timber HP is making some news this week, announcing what it calls a collaborative relationship with the large French building materials company Saint-Gobain, which will distribute the Timber HP insulation in Canada. Saint-Gobain will also distribute the insulation in the U.S. In a press release, Timber HP called the deal a huge vote of confidence in our technology and our team.